Hey, what's going on everybody on the Team Hydra Clan channel? My name is Rocky Cinema, or you can just call me Hydra Rockies. And today what you guys are going to be watching in the background is going to be an absolutely insane, very fast-paced triple DNA bomb by your boy Hydra Jeep. Now just recently, he has been promoted to the co-leader position in Team Hydra. So check out his channel, show him some love. He's an amazing pub stomper, he's a great friend of mine. And, you know, he, like I said, he's been promoted to the most recent co-leader position on Team Hydra. So show him some love. Let's see if we can get him, like, I don't know, at least 10 more subscribers. That would be much appreciated. As well as, don't forget to leave an early like on this video. Like I said, this is a very fast-paced triple DNA bomb. Very hard gameplay to get, so it's definitely worthy of a like. Let's see if we can get 45 likes. It takes, like, half a second to click that like button. And it definitely shows us some support. It keeps us motivated. As well as, it helps, it helps grow our channel for the future. So, so if you guys are into this gameplay at all or this commentary, don't forget to leave a like. Like I said, it takes like half a second and it's been about, I don't know, a week or two since I've made a commentary over on the Hydro Clan channel and I apologize. If you like my commentaries, I apologize. If you don't really mind that I haven't done one in a while, more power to you because you obviously don't care. But anyways, I really don't have anything to talk about. This is a pretty long gameplay and, you know, I don't really have a lot of things to talk about so I'm just going to talk about you know whatever comes it's just gonna be kind of like a rambling commentary but he is playing on Detroit he is using the ASM-1 and you know what I just thought of a topic so everybody's complaining that the ASM-1 is so overpowered and sure yeah the ASM-1 is overpowered especially if you have the speakeasy but you know people complain that the gun is overpowered and then it gets nerfed and then they complain that it's underpowered and it's just a vicious fucking cycle of complaining, 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 complaining. When Call of Duty Advanced Warfare first came out, people are like, this game is Battle of Duty Advanced Rooftops. Everybody's sitting on the rooftops with a Battle 27. So you know what they did? Sledgehammer and Michael Condry, they listened. They took the bow and they nerfed it. Now the, the bow has more recoil, it has like less range, it has less damage, etc. And you know, people complained, they listened, they changed the bow, they nerfed it. Now, if you have the Inferno or, or the Obsidian Steed, it's still OP as fuck. But anyways, that's besides the point. They listened. They they nerfed the Battle 27. They buffed the SMGs. And when they buffed the SMGs, the ASM-1 became the dominant weapon. Like you guys can see right now, the ASM-1 is now a dominant weapon. And everybody's complaining now that the ASM-1 is too overpowered. And sure, sure, it might be overpowered. It, it is overpowered. I will agree. It is a very powerful gun. But in every Call of Duty ever made, ever... There's always been two or three weapons from like each class that are overpowered that are used throughout the whole cycle of the game to get the pub stomping and the competitive gameplays. And you know, it's a vicious cycle. Every game, there's that one favorite weapon or the two favorite weapons that everybody uses and everybody thinks OP. And you know, it's true. The weapons might be better than the rest of them. And to be honest, I don't know why they do that. The only game I can think of where everything was mostly balanced was Black Ops 1. In my opinion, Black Ops 1 was like the most balanced Call of Duty as far as weapons go. But you know what happens? Everybody's complaining about the ASM-1, so what are they going to do? They're going to nerf the ASM-1. Michael Condry actually just tweeted out like yesterday that there's going to be a huge weapon balance patch coming. And with that weapon patch, they're pretty much going to buff every single gun that needs a buff. They're not going to nerf anything. They're going to buff almost everything, including the shotguns, including the snipers including the underpowered SMGs and ARs, they're going to buff a lot of things. And that's all thanks to everybody complaining that the ASM-1 and the Battle 27 are still overpowered. And what's going to happen is when all these weapons get buffed, there's going to be a new weapon that comes out. It's not going to be the Battle 27. It's not going to be the ASM-1 anymore. It's going to be something like the HBR A3. It's a vicious cycle. Every time a weapon gets buffed, nerfed, whatever the case may be, a new favorite weapon emerges and that new weapon is going to be the talk of the fucking century in about a month when that gun is getting all the gameplays and everybody's fed up because that gun's too overpowered and then it's just a vicious cycle that repeats itself over and over again. So in my opinion, people just need to shut the fuck up, deal with the weapons, deal how powerful they are, and play the fucking game. That's why the weapons are there, that's why the fucking game is there, and if you don't like how the guns are, if you don't like how the game is, stop playing the game. Go back to another Call of Duty, have fun in another game. It's not like there's a million games out there that you guys can play on another fucking console, and you guys can even go back to Destiny, go back to Black Ops 2, go back to some other Call of Duty, 
and it will be the same thing in destiny in any first person shooter game there's always an overpowered weapon and you just have to deal with it in black ops 2 it was the msmc the an94 the maa1 in mw2 the favorite weapon was the ump i believe the m16 some stuff like that in uh, modern warfare 3 it was the acr the pp90 the p90 and like I said, it's just a vicious cycle. It goes in and out. Like last year in Ghost, it was the Remington, the Vector, the MTAR. Those were the three guns in pubs and in competitive. And I guess you can add the Honey Badger to that list. But anyways, you guys get what I'm saying. There's like three to four weapons in each Call of Duty that are the talk of the century, that everybody thinks is OP, that everybody thinks are the best guns, and when they talk about them, they get buffed or nerfed, and then a new favorite gun emerges, and it's just a vicious cycle. I know that next year in Black Ops 3 or World at War 2, whatever it is, the same thing's gonna happen again. So yeah, it's just a vicious cycle, and it will happen again. You guys gotta get over it. It's gonna fucking happen every year. I don't know why you keep complaining about it. But that's pretty much that, guys. Don't forget to check out Jeep in the description down below, as well as myself if you enjoy the commentary. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. I'm Rocky Cinemore. You can just call me Hydra Rockies, and I'm out for the day. Peace.